I have to like not look at myself because then I'm not looking at the camera and it's oh well you can move the camera and confusing you can move the camera do you want to move the camera all right <laughs> all right so for months someone's been telling me you should do YouTube you should do YouTube why don't you do YouTube so uh, here I am apparently I'm doing YouTube I don't really know where this is gonna go or what I'm gonna do but I guess we'll ride this train and find out together um, Hi, I'm Eliana. I have cystic fibrosis. What is cystic fibrosis? Would you like the easy explanation or the medically complicated explanation? Easy explanation. All the mucus in my body, due to a genetic defect that I was born with, is super thick. And instead of doing what it's supposed to do, like lubricate and protect things, it instead gums things up and is a perfect breeding ground for infection. So that means mostly lungs, digestive system are the two heavy hitters. Um, the lungs typically being the more dangerous one because apparently breathing is important and when you can't breathe, bad things happen. Bad things happen. <coughs> The medically complicated explanation is that on a cellular level, due to a genetic defect, um, a sodium chloride channel does not form, and that creates an imbalance in sodium chloride, water, blah, 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 being the technical medical term. Um, <coughs> and that is what then makes the mucus thick. This defect can manifest in thousands, literally, of different ways. There are, I think, over 2,000 identified CF mutations. Um, some of them they haven't even identified, like they know the person has CF, but they don't even show up on genetic testing. Um, so, that means that depending on your mutation, the protein can malfunction in all kinds of different ways. Maybe it's not there. Maybe it doesn't fold properly. Maybe it doesn't get to where it's supposed to go. Maybe it gets to where it's supposed to go, but it doesn't open all the way. All kinds of different things. <coughs> the main reason why the medically complicated explanation is relevant is because there are now treatments medications, um, pills actually specifically, that address the various mutations on a cellular level. And depending on what mutation you have will affect whether and how these various drugs impact you, whether they're able to help you. Um, I'm super lucky not in that thus far, none of the treatments that are out have been able to address my specific mutation because cystic fibrosis is a recessive disease, which means you have to get not one, but two copies of the sifter gene. And one of mine is really common, which is good when it comes to research and drugs. And one of mine is really rare, which is bad. <coughs> Uh, what does all that nonsense mean on a practical level? It means that I cough a lot. Um, I get lots of fun comments about, you know, smokers cough, why don't you lay off the cigarettes? <coughs> That's a bad cold you got there. People giving you very alarmed looks and running away from your terrible plague-ridden infectious disease, which is not really actually infectious. Um, well, to normal people anyway. Very infectious to other CF patients, but that's a separate story. Um, <coughs> I cough a lot. I take a lot of medicine. 
um, a lot of pills, a lot of nebulizer treatments, um, chest PT, magical vest thing that maybe I'll show you sometime. Um, spend a lot of time in the hospital, spend a lot of time on IVs, getting hydration, getting antibiotics, trying to keep my lungs vaguely under control. <coughs> um, sometimes I wear oxygen. Right now, not usually when I'm sitting, but um, usually if I'm like up and around and walking, my oxygen doesn't really hold up so well, so I get to rock the Hazel Grace Fault in Our Stars look. Um, although soon I'll be able to say the whatever the main character's name five feet apart look because we're getting our own CF movie apparently. I won't have to throw it back to Hazel Grace anymore. <coughs> um, in terms of my day-to-day -day life, it has changed a lot over the years. Um, for a very long time I was one of the lucky ones. My CF is, I don't know if it still is, was mild to moderate, which basically means I had a normal childhood up until I was eight. Um, I was diagnosed at eight, which is very late actually, considering, considering the state of my disease. Um, <coughs> so pretty much everything was normal until I was eight. After I was eight, I still kind of thought everything was normal. I'm not really sure why. Maybe I just wasn't a very normal child. Actually, that's not a maybe. I definitely was not a very normal child. Um, but yeah, I just kind of thought that I would just pop in the hospital once a year for a week or two. And in between hospitalizations, I felt fine. So they didn't really phase me much. Um, but CF is a progressive terminal illness. Um, those are both fun big words that you really don't really want to put together in a sentence when they refer to your own life. Um, so over time, things kept, you know, ramping up, getting worse. But I still did really, really pretty well up into my 30s. Um, Working full time, living on my own, you know, yeah, struggling, being sick, dealing with a lot of garbage, but really was pretty okay up until 2015 um, when I managed to catch just the wrong bug and landed in the hospital for three weeks, I think, almost a month, um, and came out really sick. Um, and actually, no, that happened in 2014. Um, 2015 is when I finally gave up and realized that working full time really just wasn't going to work for me anymore. So since 2015, I have been on disability um, and really just trying to take care of my health and also squeeze as much life and fun and adventure and good times as I can. Um, around all the medical nonsense. Um, it does get more and more difficult as time goes on. Um, not gonna lie, in a bad streak right now. Things have been really difficult for the last four months. Um, pretty much been the sickest I've ever been. That whole oxygen hazel grace thing that I mentioned, that's new to my life um, as of November 2018. So yeah, things have been definitely difficult and getting more so, but that that is CF. Um, I have been aware that that is CF and that that's what's gonna happen. I have been kind of preparing for that since I was a teenager. Um, and I am doing my best to rock on through it. So that is, that is my story. I mean, 
that's a piece of my story. There's definitely a lot more story to tell. Um, and that is my introduction. So, hi YouTube. Welcome to my life.